Hello everyone, I'm Greg D. A quick update on the severe weather setup around Arkansas today. Not much has changed. A slight risk for much of the state and an enhanced risk from Little Rock to Fort Smith down south and southwest. Uh, basically, that's slight plus, just uh, a little higher maybe risk than you would typically see with a slight risk. Not quite a moderate risk. I know it gets confusing with these new categories. Not severe weather outbreak material for sure. It breaks down as this. In that enhanced risk, the tornado threat is 10%. So there's a 10% chance of seeing a tornado within 25 miles of you in all directions today. That's actually a pretty large area. That's a 50-mile swath. Uh, and to see a tornado anywhere in that area, I mean, you're looking at uh, Little Rock is the center North of Conway, south of Pine Bluff, so all of central Arkansas, for instance. And the chance of seeing an isolated tornado in all of central Arkansas with any severe weather event? You know, we've been in Arkansas long enough, you know, that happens quite often. You get at least one report of something small somewhere, so it's not really groundbreaking. Wind threat is higher. Hail threat, three times higher than actually seeing a tornado. So uh, the thing to do today is put the car in the garage, park it in the carport for tonight because that's what we're watching. So here's a setup. There are actually thunderstorms already moving in Arkansas this morning. Those are not severe. There's rain and thunder in Oklahoma. It will be in western Arkansas this morning before noon. I don't expect much severe weather with that. Maybe a warning for windows from small hail. Those storms will likely reach Little Rock by noon. Again, that's not the main event. Nothing too big here, just mainly rain and thunder. Then, that will weaken, and additional thunderstorms will start to develop south and west of that morning complex. We'll be watching western and southwest Arkansas for those storms to initiate, to develop west of I-30. So, uh, Texarkana, Mena, we're talking about Pike County, we're talking about Hot Springs area maybe. Those thunderstorms will then become more numerous this evening, really later on tonight after 6 or 7 o'clock. And I expect them to continue to move north and northeast, uh, up uh, mainly southwest to northeast into central Arkansas, maybe even northeast of Little Rock towards White County, Faulkner County. I uh, could possibly see some storms. Eventually, they will clear out after midnight in central Arkansas. They'll move to the east of Little Rock. But then anyone in eastern Arkansas, uh, Pine Bluff over toward Lone Oak, maybe over toward uh, McGee, uh, down toward West Memphis uh, on, uh, on I-40, you could see... Uh, thunderstorms after dark and really after midnight. That makes them very dangerous with the storms not really clearing out until the very early morning hours of Tuesday. So uh, we'll be watching the thunderstorms throughout the day. I'll be posting updates. Now, this morning, the video here on Facebook, uh, I will not be able to record videos like this once the storms get going. So when warnings are issued, I'll start posting them on Twitter. You can follow for uh, for free, I guess you could say. You don't have to have a Twitter account. Just go to twitter.com slash uh, Greg D. Weather, you'll be able to look at my tweets. Uh, you can also check Instagram for some updates too, though most of them will be on Twitter. And if there are storms that uh, maybe are a little more intense or more dangerous later on tonight, I will probably go live on Facebook. That's probably going to be the best way uh, to transmit information to you. So make sure you share this post with everyone so you let them know the plan for today. Uh, I do want to tell you one thing that I often get asked Hey, is the storms, are the storms going to be bad around uh, Searcy or Little Rock or, or Conway? Here's the deal. Um, before the storms develop, we have no way of telling where they develop. So I cannot tell you that. Once the storms develop on radar, we can then shift into a more precise way of forecasting. I think that's where the confusion is. You see us on TV once the storms develop telling you that it's going to be in this town in 15 minutes. We only know that because the storm has already developed. Until the thunderstorms actually form tonight, there's just no way to know. So make sure you're sharing uh, my post today to let everyone know about what's going on. And I'll have more updates, uh, probably some photo updates on this Facebook page and Twitter. And then hopefully you won't hear or see too much of me later on tonight. Stay safe, everyone down in Arkansas. I'll talk to you soon.